Okay, so it's Christmas Eve. I haven't done a video in quite a while because it's been really, really busy between work and home and shopping and everything, so I apologize. I know a couple people have kind of checked in with me. Everything's okay. I just really needed to kind of take a break and get some Christmas shopping done and stuff like that. Um, I've had, weirdly, several people that are just getting into the hobby lately ask me about the uh, C. cyanopubescens or the GBB as they're most commonly referred to. Um, and how good they are as beginner species. I will tell you that I think my fourth tarantula was a GBB that I got as a sling. I didn't have very much uh, difficulty with them, but there are a couple things to keep in mind. So as luck would have it, my first GBB that I did get as a uh, three-quarter inch sling just molted the other day. So I'm going to go try to get the light on her. Unfortunately, she's really sheepish right now. And I really was hoping to get a view of her carapace, which is amazing. But hopefully some of the blues will come out. Let me focus on her here. There she is there. Notice the bright orange butt. And hopefully I can get some of the blue to come in. I can see it not I can see it as I look over the camera, but it's not coming through in the camera. Um anyway, a couple things to think about with these guys. Uh, for folks used to keeping Gramostola species or Brachypalma species, these guys are very, very quick. Um, my two are both uh, very, very skittish. They will bolt at the slightest um, disturbance. And one thing to mention is both of mine are quite the hair kickers. They don't play around as far as the hair is concerned. They don't spare the hair. Um, is If I, they feel cornered or if I drop a cricket in and it's too close to them, they'll immediately kick, which is something to think about for folks who, you know, I have a lot of folks to ask me about the hairs, are very concerned about the hairs. That is something to be... Um, cognizant of if you pick one of these up that they are going to be throwing hairs off more than some of the other beginner species so just two things to think about they are a little fast um not by any stretch of the imagination the fastest spiders out there i have a lot of folks that talk to me about uh possibly getting piece Lotharia species and one of the species they'll mention is that they keep a gbb and they're like well i'm used to the speed with these guys it's not even the same league as a piece Lotharia, in my opinion actually it's coming out pretty good you can see some of the uh, green there um, so they're quick, but they're a nice, I think they're kind of a more advanced beginner species, only if you're not used to uh, dealing with spiders that can kind of bolt and jump in a hurry. Um, besides that, some cool things about them, or one of my favorite things, is besides the amazing coloration, let me just, oh, there we go, now she's going in. Hopefully she doesn't bolt or kick hair at me. But besides the amazing coloration, as you can see, the copious amounts of webbing, they produce a lot of webbing, and what I like about it is not only is webbing really cool to look at, and when I bring folks over to my house, they're kind of uh, amazed by the thickness of it, but it really makes their colors stand out when they stand on it, because you have that bright white background with all those brilliant blues, the green, the carapace, there it is right there, and the orange abdomen. Let me just focus. Obviously, I'm out of practice with this. So it is, I would honestly recommend them and have recommended them as beginner species to folks that are aware of the fact that they are not going to, I would not try handling this. I know somebody will probably chime in, oh, I handle mine all the time. That's great. Um, not one of the species I would consider handling. They're just too jumpy, in my opinion. Um, and, you know, the hair kicking, it's, uh, you stick your hand in here. I'm, I'm actually amazed she's not kicking right now, but she did only molt four days ago. So she's still probably hardening up. But the hair kicking can be an issue, and this is one of the few spiders that's almost caught me with the hairs because you'll, they'll be completely calm one minute and kicking hairs the next. Um, while I'm in here with her, just something to mention, I have a lot of people email me very concerned because their tarantula is molted and they can't get the molts out. Don't worry about digging the molts out. I've never had mold or any issues from an old molt. They don't seem to attract any pests or anything like that. So if you can't get a molt out right away or without destroying the tarantula's burrow, because I have a lot of people ask, you know, should I dig up the burrow? The molt's in there. I'm afraid it's going to cause problems. Just leave it. Some tarantulas will even take the molts, tear them apart, and work them into the size of their burrows. Um, so it's not something to really fret about to, um, you know, have to immediately pull the exoskeletons out, they're not going to cause any issues. When you can get to them, get to them. That's it. If you can't get to them right away, and I've had people comment on my videos every once in a while, like, oh, you forgot a molt. No, if I can't get it right away without disturbing the spider, I'll, I'll wait till I can get it. The only time I usually try to get one out quickly is if there's something I'm trying to sex, and I notice they haven't destroyed the abdomen area yet, and then sometimes I'll, I'll dig it out. But don't panic if your spider molts and you can't get to the molt right away or at all. It'll be fine. So there we go. The GBB, one of my favorite species. I mean, I just, I'm a sucker for colorful spiders. 
And this is one of the ones when I show people when they come over, they're just floored that this even exists. So beautiful spider. I would, again, say it's it can be a big, great beginner species. They're fast growing. They eat like machines. That's two things I should uh, mention. You keep them dry, which makes them very easy to keep. There's no moisture requirements. And, um, the, you know, again, the growth speed is great. Um, but I would say they're a little, just be aware of the speed and the fact that they can kick the hair.